It's a project that started during the pandemic with um, a lot of time to walk in the nature and at the same time there were those new LiDAR systems that you could use on an iPhone. So I began to enjoy to walk down uh, Paradise Creek and to begin to see what could be scanned in three dimensions and what could be brought to the computer. I began to scan the water, I began to scan the edges of the creek, the grass, and to test different solutions. And very quickly, it became a project because the idea of being able to capture all that nature was very, very interesting. But also I began to notice about the, the birds living there and there were animals who were sleeping uh, under the trees next to the river. The idea of bringing them into a virtual world makes a lot of sense because you can rehearse, for example, what you would do in an experimental forest with burning some parts of the forest as a training. Uh, you can do that in the virtual world, you can fly a drone to see that, but also people who are all over uh, the state or all over the region can meet and uh, work together there. If we succeed to do it well in those projects, then we can do it with a lot of other disciplines. This is really fantastic times to learn that stuff, you know, and to uh, to get into it. 10 years, 20 years, maybe 50 years from now, I hope that people can go back to those files and uh, reopen them and see what the nature looked like at that time. The most interesting part to me was just the act of capturing all this natural, like riverbed, all of that geometry, and trying to get it to look real inside of a virtual world. Because I'm a big fan of trying to like kind of merge the two polar opposites of like the natural landscape of like the riverbed plus this you know digital world that is a lot of the time associated with like looking ugly in comparison to real life stuff so teaching stuff about the natural world it's important that you get that uh, as close to one-to-one -one as you can with the virtual representation. When we were all showing up, all the teams were showing up and kind of setting up all their tech, it was at first a little bit intimidating. You kind of question if you really deserve to be there, but thinking about it more, it's like, yeah, these big companies get in because they have the tools and the resources and the technology, whereas people like us, it's almost more intentional that we were there because we had to really try hard for it. And use what we could even though we're not we don't have as many resources as other companies it turned from intimidation to just like another proud moment like yeah we do deserve to be here uh, you can almost always apply a virtual a virtual component to pretty much anything which is one of the reasons why a lot of the vtd grads have such a wide array of jobs that they get into after they leave we see a completely new landscape uh, which is opening up, you know, and so it's, it's really cool, yeah. I think the students are very lucky to study right now. Mm -hmm. yeah.